Have you ever been so thirsty that you couldn't even lick a stamp? Now, I know that some of you are wondering why you would lick a stamp, because we live in the time period now where you just peel a stamp. But I'm from the time period where you had to lick a stamp. Today is Good Friday, and we've been looking at Jesus' last seven words on the cross. Today, his last words are going to come from towards the very end of his time on the cross, from his work on the cross. And he says it comes from um, John 19, where Jesus says, I am thirsty. Now, Jesus was 100% man. So, yes, after all that he had endured from the moment he was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane the night before till now, his body had been through it. So, yes, yes, his body thirsted. But John also tells us, that Jesus, knowing that all things had already been accomplished, to fulfill the scriptures, said, I am thirsty. Jesus said what he did, not only because his body was thirsty, but really because he needed to fulfill all scripture. So what scriptures? Glad you asked. Remember yesterday we talked about Psalm 22 points to Jesus. So in, in Psalm 22, 15, we read, My strength is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue cleaves to my jaws, and you lay me in the dust of death. And not only that one, but Psalm 69 also points to Jesus. And he said, For my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. So both of these psalms written by David, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, pointed to this very moment when Jesus would say, I am thirsty, and they would give him sour wine, which is basically vinegar, to drink. Fulfilling scripture. But you know what else this thirst points to? In John 4, Jesus met a woman at the well, and she had come for water, and he told her, if you knew who it was, who ask you for a drink, because Jesus asked her for a drink, you would ask of me, and I would give you living water. Well, she wanted that living water because she didn't want to come back to the well anymore. Our physical thirst makes us weak. We can't survive without water. We can't. I mean, we can for a little while, but we need water to survive. Spiritually speaking, we really need the living water. That's the water that we truly need. Our physical bodies, they're just shells. We're just, they're just here for a period of time. But after these shells give out, we enter into eternity. And living water gives us eternal life. Jesus is the living water. You know, without Jesus, we survive until we die. Forever. Eternal death. But with Jesus, rivers of living water will spring up within us to eternal life. Eternal life. And we will never thirst again. Now, Revelation says to us, Revelation 22 says, The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let the one who hears say, Come. And let him who thirsts, Come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. So how do we respond to Jesus' words on the cross, I am thirsty? We recognize our spiritual thirst, and we come. We come to the one who gives freely to those who will come in faith in Jesus Christ. Come. 
and never thirst again. Tomorrow, we're going to look at the second to last words that Jesus spoke from the cross, and they're one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. So join me tomorrow, and happy Good Friday.